woke up one recent morning thinking about mom and her life and her Alzheimer's disease and how our lives really are like our own personal movies that we play, rewind, edit, watch without ceasing. But life is not quite the right word. Consciousness, maybe, or soul, or self. Our sense of who we are, that's the movie. Which means our neurons are the actual film stock. So what happens when the film is damaged or the projector starts gobbling it up? What happens if that was the one and only print? Endless night, is that what happens? She hangs up the phone and reaches for a pen, but the sun is just breaking over the top of one of the clouds and she has to watch it, it's too beautiful. It's like a Tiepolo ceiling. And by the time she reaches for her date book, she's forgotten when the class is. I wondered so often where mom was in her final years. I feared that she was caught in a cold white passageway, like the tunnel to the Berkeley Pitt viewing stand in Butte, Montana. Maybe not. Maybe she was laughing and sledding on a snow day in June. Or maybe she went back to her baby self. Maybe her brain played the loud symphony of the Rock Creek Rapids, lulling her to a deep and deafened sleep, allowing her to rest at last after all those years of struggling to stay afloat on a rising lake of toxic plaques and tangles. <laughs> 